here we are at the Vietnam War Memorial at Elmsford, New York, just north of New York City. Quite ironic how I've driven 50 to 100 miles to see these things. Now it's a block away from my office. What a blessing that is. Nice little community. I think every city, town, and village should have a Vietnam Memorial, regardless of size. Just a thought of the dedication of these people who never came home and the people who did come home. So hopefully everybody can work on that in their hometown with their local councils and legislatures to uh, get that thought going around the country. Every town, city, and village should have a Vietnam Memorial of some sort. Not a wall, but at least a statue, marker, something. Gold Star Mother, War Dogs. Thanks a lot. Yeah, it's really interesting when guys who served in Vietnam get to that wall. It like changes us, changes me at least, how uh, I uh, feel about the time now, the time that's passed, the people I served with, and things like that. It's seriously a, uh, it's sad. 50 years later. But yeah, try to get, if you don't have anything going on, a lot of American Legion posts or VFW posts, VVA chapters, they have a, a, a small marker, a gravestone, a statue, something to commemorate the Vietnam War. Because the war was really, uh, it was a contentious war. However, the way we came home and the way we were treated, it was pretty sad, and those those marks and memories and wounds somehow transcend the physical things that happened to us. And I'm talking to guys every day, either on the phone or the computer or whatever, on my messaging or texting about their experiences in this war. And it's, uh, we'll move on. Drive on, troops.